Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to create the echo effect. So let's create a new composition. And yeah, let's call this echo. And the size is the same. Also the duration, I'm just going to click OK. And now we have two compositions here. So let's just copy the text from here. Control C, Control V. And I'll make sure that it is in the center. And yeah, now I'm going to show you the echo effect. Basically, you just go to effects and search for um, echo. I'll just drag it and put it on the layer. And here on the effects and controls, we see the effect. And if we click play, nothing happens. Uh, even when we change the setting, settings of it, uh, yeah, we can decrease this or increase this other one, uh, number of echoes. Yeah, nothing happens, so let's undo that. And the reason behind that is because uh, the echo effect is created when it moves. So basically it creates a clone of the object that you are applying the echo effect to. Uh, so to get that effect, basically we need to create an animation. Uh, we just need to animate the position. So I'll just type P on the keyboard and go to the position or you can just go to uh, transform and uh, position. So let's create a keyframe in the beginning and let's just move and yeah I'll just move this and you can see that it already created a clone of the of the text but we will work uh, more with it later. First of all let's animate this. So I'm just moving on the timeline and changing the position. Yeah, in the end, I think I'm just going to copy the first frame, control C, control V and drag it in the end. So it creates a loop. Yeah, let's click play. And we can see the echo effect a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, now we can go right here. And first of all, we can see that they kind of overlap to each other. So to fix that, we need to go to uh, character and uh, we need to add a stroke. Let's make this uh, 14. I think it should be okay. Yeah, actually it needs to be fill over stroke. And if we see it in transparency mode, yeah, you will see the, the stroke but it overlaps and the reason behind that is the echo operator. It is on add and you can change these, but uh, the one that I use are composite in back or composite in front. Yeah, and I like them both. Let's see the first one. Okay, uh, now we need to increase the number of echo. So yeah, we can see more of it. And that's up to you, whatever you like. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, so you get the idea of how this works. Uh, now you also have this starting intensity and uh, decay is about fading the the echo yeah so I guess that's uh, up to you but uh, personally I don't change these I just leave them as they are I just uh, change the number of echo and there is also the echo time that is about uh, the number of echo in a certain uh, path. And yeah, you can change that. And see what you get. But of course, I'm trying to keep this simple. So I don't want to uh, complicate this and just uh, leave it on the original uh, echo time.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you another way to animate this. So I'll just uh, duplicate the text, uncheck the text below. I duplicated it by clicking Control D, or you can just go Control C, Control V, or uh, edit, copy, and edit paste. Um, yeah, now I'm going to try something else. So uh, I'm going to remove this keyframe of the position. I'll just leave it as it is. And I'm going to click on this toggle switches and modes. And I'm going to make this a 3D layer. To make this, you just need to go on this 3D layer and yeah, click on it. So now besides X and Y, we also have the uh, third dimension. So yeah, let's go to transform and yeah, you can see three options here on the position x uh, y and here is the depth so what i wanted to do is just animate the depth for example let's make this smaller okay i'll just set a keyframe and now let's go to the and somewhere right here and i'm going to bring this in front I'll just type zero and increase it more okay let's see what we get and then decide about it let's change the quality to third just so it loads faster or half okay although there is an echo it is difficult to see because of the perspective for example if i check the transparency you will see that it is uh, like a 3d uh, object but it is difficult to see the echo maybe we can change the echo time like that yeah now the echo is more visible and another way would be to just let's duplicate this so we keep both versions and uh, now uh, besides the echo, I'm going to try and uh, rotate the text. So I'll go to transform again and I'm going to set a keyframe on all these options, the orientation uh, and rotation options. So let's go to the end. And yeah, you can see what we can get. Okay, let's make this zero and the X three. And actually in this case, I think we need to change the position as it was right here. Also, let's scale this down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, what I'm trying to say is that you can change all these settings right here and get uh, different results. It's not like you have a formula for everything. So let's see what we can get. Yeah, this is really cool, I think. Okay. So the possibilities uh, are endless, I guess. You can uh, make a copy of this and change the orientation differently and get another result, but yeah, just wanted to show you that as uh, as an example of what you can do with the echo effect. And I guess we can um, change the position here to get this uh, closer. Okay, let's play it once again. Okay, so yeah, that's about the echo effect.